Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more The Walking Dead Season 4 Episode 6 is here today. Oh my god. The Walking Dead is getting warmed up. The governor is back. Oh yes. And um, got a little preview of him. I think it was at the end of Episode 4. It, I don't remember what episode. We did not see him at all, but there was the breakout that happened. People had to die. We didn't lose any of our main characters. Um, you know, we didn't lose any of our main characters. Um, Daryl is back. Still haven't addressed the fact that Carol is gone. So I'm waiting on that conversation to happen to see how Daryl and rick is going to be from now on because i really need to see how daryl handles this because as i said before i'm really paying attention to the writing in the show right now um on how they're writing these characters because shows tend to go sideways after a while so i'm really paying attention to the writing to see what are they doing with these characters now now that they've been developed now that we're used to these characters um what are you doing are you going to make them make bad decisions or great decisions you know what i'm saying is are they going to change for the better or change for the worse you know as in character development are they going to be consistent or are they going to start writing characters to do ridiculous stuff out of character what are they planning to do so i am paying attention to what they're doing um so as i said we have not lost anybody other than the fact that carol was banished um so everybody that mattered that matters is still alive i mean everybody matter all lives matter <laughs> you know um but i'm talking about the main cast the people that we've been used to and gotten used to over a, a, a certain period of time all these pic people that we see in this picture right here that actually we're used to have an emotional connection to like i have no emotional connection to anybody that died in so far this season none <laughs> you get what i'm saying like i don't want to see glenn die i don't want to see um maybe I i'm not really that connected to ty or or sasha to be honest, like we've not really gotten much from them. Like I'm, I, you get what I'm trying to say. Like I, they're not that established in the show yet for me to have an emotional connection to them. Like if they died next episode, I'm not gonna be like, oh no, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not like that with them right now. So, um, you know, every other character that of the main cast, um, I have a serious connection to right now i don't want to see any of them any of them go um you see how i reacted to rick banishing carol i did not like that because now i'm not gonna get to see carol on the show anymore at least for a little while you get what i'm saying carol has been here since season one i'm not loving that decision at all so thank you guys so much for indulging me and i will see you guys for the review All right, so they got the governor getting his episode back. I wouldn't mind. I would not mind if they turned his character good. I'm going to be honest. I would not mind him getting um, a family that he can protect. Maybe he'll be different this time around. Because he was a well-written character last season in, in, in season three. He was well-written. I like the character for the character's sake. And the character development over time. Nothing was a ass pull when it comes to him. It was very well written character for a villain for season three. And I, I really mess with it really heavy. So when it comes on to this season, um, we did see him 
he knows where the prison is at. So this is this episode was obviously a flashback. I think it is definitely is a flashback. Who knows where they are in present time right now? So um, we know he found the prison because we saw that at the end of episode four, I think. Um, so I mean, he already know where it is. I don't know why I said he found it because he already had known where it is. Those guys that left him. And they obviously found him back at the at, at the end of this episode. Um, I don't know why they decided to leave him, but he was on the road for like two months um, and found his family. Which you know what I'm saying? Like maybe this will cause him to be a little bit more sane about things and change him for the better. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, maybe he's scoping out the prison, trying to figure out how can he explain this to Rick for to be taken in or whatever the situation is. So I'm not going to put him in the bad book yet because there are things that happen to him that could cause him to change to be a better person. So I'm not going to put it beyond him becoming a becoming a good person going forward and i'm I, i'm all for redemption i'm all for second chances man like you know what i'm saying is killer be killed out here um the world is ending you know what i'm saying i think the the walkers are the real enemy at this point and they should not the humans that are left should not be fighting against each other you know what i'm saying so the ones that are not dead yet i should say <laughs> You know, they shouldn't be fighting against each other. They should all band together and try to clear out all of these people. Mind you, you're talking about, we don't know how many people have survived. It's probably like a million people that survive out of the 7 billion people worldwide. You get what I'm saying? So that's a lot of, you know, walkers to clear so they could start something anew. But at the same time... When people die, they're becoming walkers. Like, is this is there really a a um a cure for this all? You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of questions to be asked. You know, a lot of questions to be asked. So we have to there's a lot going on. You know what I mean? There's a lot going on. So um so I'm all for it, man. I'm glad that they took time out to kind of reintroduce this character, show what was going on between the time at the end. You know, he went back, burned Woodbury down, and um, all of that stuff. Um, I don't mind. Are they trying to introduce him back as a villain again? I don't know. Hopefully not. For, for my sake, I'm hoping that they're not going to rinse and repeat this character as a villain in the story. I think season three was perfectly done. I think now some character development need to be made as in him becoming a better person. In my opinion, that's how I would write it. But, you know, who knows what these guys have in mind. But they're doing an excellent job so far. Six episodes into season four. So, see you guys for the next one. Remember to subscribe, comment, leave a like. I'll catch you guys later. Shout out to all y'all. Peace.